So we got some new info about the pricing of Manor Lords today, and it came directly from Hooded Horse's CEO, Tim, and he posted it on Reddit. So let's go through it. Basically, he said, Hi, everyone. I'm Tim, CEO of Manor Lords publisher Hooded Horse. There's been a lot of discussion about price recently, so I wanted to provide some info on why we aren't sharing Manor Lords prices publicly yet. And this has been a big topic of discussion, y'all. Uh, a lot of people have been... Um, you know, questioning what the price is going to be. Obviously, people are wondering, everyone wants to play the game and they want to be able to afford it. So um, very, it makes sense that people are talking about it. I mean, I, I see it all the time in Discord and on Reddit. People are asking. My guess has been that it'll be 30 to 40, but let's see what he has to say. Anyways, he says that Mana Lords, like all other games on Steam, will not have one price. It will have regional prices, regional prices that distribute across the world. These aren't just different currencies. There are large regions of the world where Steam uses U.S. dollar pricing, but in a different way. For example, parts of Southeast Asia, uh, many CIS regions, Turkey, and many Middle Eastern countries, Argentina, many South American countries, all have prices in U.S. dollars, but different from that of the U.S. in order to provide some help for local customers to be able to afford the game given the prices and wages in their country though inflation is making that more and more difficult when local currency cannot be used. So what I'd assume that means is that like, if they're using local currency to buy these games, Steam isn't able to turn that back into USD, and thus these people aren't able to buy the games, or they're just not able to afford the USD dollars at all just because their local currency is so inflated. Um, but yeah, that makes sense. A lot of games do this. There are some downsides to it as it can cause a you know, like shady game key companies, the gray sites or whatever, uh, they can go and buy games in the other countries. And uh, there are like region locking, I think, in some sense, but somehow they get a, a around that or something. But but it, it is nice of them to do this. It allows people in, uh, you know, countries that aren't as well off to be able to afford games just like everyone else, which I think is a good thing overall. And so he said, so we don't like to declare a price in advance of release because sharing the U.S. price alone will lead to misunderstandings. People will conclude that the game is unaffordable in the region when at launch they will have the pricing that will work for them. And whatever disclaimers we detach would probably be dropped when it is repeated elsewhere, causing a bunch of people to lose hope and feel that the game won't be affordable in their country. And I think this is just so down to earth. I mean, he definitely is so correct. People just don't read disclaimers. They don't notice it. Um, you know, when it gets repeated, the disclaimer isn't repeated. It's so true that if they made a disclaimer, it wouldn't matter. No one would read it. So it's good to see that he understands, uh, you know, how the general population works. Then he said, I also want to draw attention to another issue and important uh, additional reason why we aren't sharing the price publicly now. The rise of a gray market slash scam stores attempting to sell pre-orders on a Manor Lords keys. They don't have any keys and they aren't going to be getting any from us, but they are attempting to capitalize on the hype. And despite our stance that we are not doing pre-orders because we don't want to take your money until after release, they are claiming to take pre-orders for key sales. They have no idea what the price will be, so they are just taking their wild guess and probably figuring they can get a key through some questionable means later or just leave the customer not getting what they paid for, if not perhaps. We don't want players getting scammed or cheated by such sites and giving them a definite price to plan around would probably just increase their proliferation and marketing of these pre-orders. So personally... Uh, because I was given a code by Hooded Horse, I haven't been, you know, looking into this at all. But I'm sure, I mean, with every game launch, you have these sites that offer game keys at ridiculous prices. And, you know, they get them through shady methods, either than, like, ordering them in other countries, uh, stolen credit cards, stuff like that. So um, definitely a good reason, another good reason to not give a price. And then finally, he said, this is the last paragraph. Now, the most important thing I'd like to stress, I don't think people should be worried about a price. As a publisher, Hooded Horse has never done a AAA pricing on a game. We have no current plans to do so, no matter how popular a game is. And for early access release, we've always previously done launch discounts in the range of 10 to 25% that last for the first couple of weeks. We're not trying to squeeze every last dollar out of people. We won't be putting up five editions with spreadsheets needed to understand them or locking up content into day one DLC or any of that crap. There's going to be a fair price there at launch with a fair discount. I definitely feel like this is a dig at some very particular developers, um, whether in the strategy game world or not, that they're taking a dig at, and it should be quite obvious to people uh, if, you're, you know, if you're in the gaming space who he's uh, mentioning here. But definitely think that this is a wonderful post from him, especially coming up three days before the full launch of Manor Lords. Um, I think it's really down to earth and it shows that 
at least like Tim as the CEO of Hooded Horse has a pretty based opinion, or at least he understands what people want to hear. And it does seem like he is quite logical about it. So I really thought that this was a wonderful post and I thought that I would highlight it just so, so that you know, like this is the publisher that you're dealing with when you support Manual Lords. And I think that from what I've seen so far is a publisher worth supporting. I mean, when you think of big publishers nowadays, you think of Ubisoft, you think of uh, Activision, stuff like that, EA. And they're all really, really bad publishers. I mean, they're just there to steal as many, much of your money as they can. I guess Paradox Interactive, too. And a lot of people have pointed out that a lot of these publishers you know, went downhill when they were uh, started being public, publicly traded. So maybe I hope that you know if Hooded Horse gets big enough one day, hopefully they don't get publicly traded because... Uh, you know, there's shareholders and shareholders have the law working for them. So, I mean, by by law, companies have to do what's best for the shareholders, not what's best for the customers, which is part of why, uh, you know, big companies seem to be so evil and never do anything for the good. They're just all about profit, but they're all about profit because they have to be. So I hope Hooded Horse doesn't go down that path. Um, currently, they look like a wonderful publisher, and I'm really glad to be able to support them and make content over them. So thank you to them. For the key, um, I will be putting out some more guides over manual loads. I was really busy for the past couple of days, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry for no uh, new content. I've just been uh, dealing with stuff at university and stuff, so I've been very, very busy. But luckily, I'm past all that, so I should have some new videos coming up right out up until launch. And uh, you know, if you're interested in other types of games, I have a second channel which I'll have linked below. Uh, currently, I'm playing No Rest for the Wicked on that channel, so feel free to go check that out as well if you want more content from me. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really, really thought that this was an awesome post that Tim put out, and I think it will garner him a bunch of fans uh, for both Hooded Horse and for Manonoids. I really think it was really well put, well written, and um, I liked it. So let me know what you think in the comments below about this post. And other than that, I'll stop rambling. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next vid. Thanks for watching, y'all. Oh, I completely forgot to mention, this is Editor Nova here. Um, you know, if you want to connect with me, feel free to join my Discord in the link below. And also, I will be live streaming coming in the next couple days. Usually, I'll be streaming at around 6 p.m. CST, so feel free to check me out around that time. Um, and then I'll also do, like, live stream announcements in my Discord if you want to, like, catch me there. So um, feel free to join my Discord below. It's a better way to, to connect with me than YouTube comments. I do try to read them all and respond to all of them. Uh, but sometimes, like, if a video does really well, um, it can take me a while to get to all of them. And uh, sometimes, like, if my YouTube channel pops off, then I just am not able to get to all of them just because there's so many. But anyways, uh, you know, th those are ways to connect with me more. And I really appreciate the support, y'all. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you next time.